A three to four year plan is in place as the transport board moves from diesel buses to electric vehicles and United Commercial Auto Works Limited, UCAL, is an integral part of the operations going forward. The existing fleet is to be expanded soon and Minister of Transport, Works and Water Resources, Santia Bradshaw, says it is in keeping with government's mandate of greening Barbados. We have 10 buses coming later this year. Um, we are in the process of looking at another 21 buses to add to the existing electric bus fleet. And the intention is to phase out the diesel buses over a period of time. Um, we are hopeful that we can increase those numbers because the truth is that whether it is for schools or whether it is for just commuters generally, we need to increase the amount of buses on the road to be able to service all of the various needs as well. A transition committee made of Labour, Government and the Transport Board is in place to aid with the transitioning of the fleet. Of course, UCAL will play a major part um, or partner in helping us with that transition, but again, that is the direction we're going in. And in that model, workers are at the forefront of that model in terms of being enfranchised as well. So this is, again, consistent with the philosophy of the party as it relates to making workers play a more integral role um, in our transitioning and our transformation across various sectors. The minister says it is still early days and UCAL will have to carry out their services from various locations, but a state-of-the-art home for the company will be realized in the fullness of time. We looked at three locations um, in the initial assessment. Obviously, the Weymouth location, um, we looked at the MTW workshop because, again, there may have to be some integration um, of the, the, the workers in terms of assisting UCAL. That is also on the table. Um, we also looked at the mangrove facility. Each of them requires some level of capital investment to improve. Um, and what the, the key thing is, obviously, in the interim, they will obviously have to perhaps operate at different locations. Eventually, I think the hope is that they have some state-of-the-art facility that will be able to accommodate all of the equipment that they are required to repair. Training and retraining is in the works as government moves the public transport fleet from diesel to electric vehicles. Trevor Thorpe. CBC News.